All right, so I just noticed something earlier today. I'm gonna see if it's still the same. I'm gonna turn on the ventilation, okay? So if I press it twice, you can see the menu. Here you can see it's only blowing through one vent. It's set to 10, all right? Let me actually lower it so you guys can hear me, okay? And as you can see, it's only going to the driver. If you have the up one, which the up one is, um, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be so it blows into the window here. Um, let me see if I can feel it. Um, I'm not too sure. I think there's some air coming out here, but it's not very strong. All right. And then we got the air in the front. Actually, let me see if I turn off the front facing one and just have that. Oh yeah, okay, so the air is coming out here. There's like different locations where the air is coming out. All right, anyways, so as you can see, none of the vents are on. None of the vents are on, okay? And then if we go to the face one, you can see both are on. If you go to the floor one, both are on. If you turn that off, both are on. But if we go just the face, for some reason, so this one, it like kind of somehow keeps the air here. There's, you can feel a little bit of air, but it's not really blowing out. It's kind of like just going like around there. Okay, and then this one's getting all the air. I'm wondering if it's because there's no passenger there. So I'm gonna actually get in the passenger seat and see if anything changes. Cause right now you can see the passenger option to change the temperature is gone. All right, so let's go around to the passenger side and see if anything changes. So I unlocked the door. All right, let's go around to the passenger side. The cats are here. Grace, watch out. Watch out, watch out. All right. So if I sit here, and it turned itself off. Hey, wake up. Okay, so here you can see, it's still only, okay, now it turned both on. So the, I don't know if it's new to the 2022 models, but apparently it detects when someone's sitting here. So, I don't know if there's a way to disable just the passenger one. Let's see, can we do that? Um, this is what, heated windshield wiper, heated steering wheel. Um, so what's this, keep, oh, that's the other stuff. Okay, so is there no way to turn this off? Okay, so you can go out. Um, if you have a passenger sitting here and they don't like the air, um, I found the best way is to pull it out to the sides and then aim it upwards and then the air is less likely to go at them. If you do it like this, it's still kind of blowing their arms and things, but if you make it go up here, it's less likely to hit them. The other thing is they can also lower their chair because my chair, my seat is up really high right now. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Let me see. Can I... Oh, okay, so we can split this. Can we turn it off though? That's my question. So you can split it so you can have a different temperature than the driver, but can we turn the fan off somehow? I don't see a way to turn it off. Let's see, what if we go, no, that's just gonna make the air colder. It sounds like the airplane's taking off when I turn it colder. Can I turn it to heater. Okay, I'll push the split again, now everything is the same. But again, I don't see a way to turn it off when there's a, when there's someone sitting here. So, okay, you can adjust this, but you can't turn it off. <laughs> Which is kind of weird that it has a sensor to turn it off if I get off the seat. I'm lifting my butt up, nope, maybe because my back is still on it, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, actually, let me lift my butt up and try this down mode and then turn it off. Nope, it still detects that I'm here somehow. I don't know if it, the detector is in the back or what. But, uh, yeah, um, that's weird. It's interesting. It only turns itself off when no one's sitting here. So you can't physically turn it off yourself, it seems. Okay, there's a heated seat. <clears throat> Auto. If you put auto, you can put auto heated seat or you can turn off the auto heated seat. I don't like using the heated seat um, because I like saving energy. I don't like using the air either. Um, but for comfort, yeah. Um, the heated seats are actually more efficient 
<clears throat> so keep that in mind. If you're cold, it's better to use the heated seat than to use the hot air, actually. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm weird, and I like to, <laughs> to maximize efficiency in, in the driving. Um, but of course, if I have passengers, I will. If they're cold, I'll turn on the stuff for them, but I keep mine off because I don't mind. I, I like the cold, actually. Um, but anyways, that's interesting. There's no way to turn it off for the passenger. So I guess you'll have to resort to just um, kind of pushing it aside and up into the air. And that kind of keeps the air from blowing them too much. But again, I don't see a way to disable just theirs. If anyone knows, um, feel free to let us know in the comment section below. It's kind of interesting that you can split the temperature, but you can't like um, turn it off. Maybe there will be an update or something eventually that will do that. If enough people like say, hey, like my passenger doesn't like the air blowing at them, is there a way I can turn that off? And maybe they'll add that. But uh, for now, it looks like it only does it... Um, <laughs> it only does it when you're sitting in the driver's seat and no one's in the passenger seat, which I mean, I guess it it makes sense. But I noticed I think it still actually blows air. So I don't think it actually saves any energy. It just d aims the air some way that it kind of like doesn't shoot it out of the vent into people's face. But um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.